is a measure in Albany. Some lawmakers are hoping will pass before the session comes to an end. And our New York Capitol correspondent Elise Klein tells us how the legislation could progress. As session approaches its end, lawmakers and advocates continue to rally for a bill to legalize medical aid in dying, legislation that has failed to pass in New York for nearly a decade. Some lawmakers say they see the bill gaining momentum with growing support from advocates and sponsors in the legislature. It was recently amended in both houses and currently sits in the Health Committee. Some advocates say in the nine and a half years they have been advocating for this bill, they have seen 26 of their rallying friends pass away in pain. I'm working with two young women who are not doing well right now. Both of them have end-stage cancer. And I feel the weight of responsibility as a leader of this campaign to get this bill done this year so that those two women don't have to suffer the way the other 26 advocates did. The legislation would allow for terminally ill patients with a diagnosis of six months or less to live to request medication to die. And some advocates say they have seen firsthand how this legislation could help people facing death. It's a matter of, of contrast between seeing really horrible deaths and seeing the really gentle, peaceful way my mom got to uh, have experience end of life. Shulman says her mother, who died of incurable colon cancer in 2017, was able to die in her bed in her house with her family around her because she lived in California, a state where medical aid in dying is legal. If passed this session, New York would be the 11th state along with the District of Columbia to make medical aid in dying legal. In Albany, Elise Klein, WENY News.